One of the great features of Lineage OS is the updater app. Not that us nerds don't enjoy playing with ADB and flashing and such, but certainly nice when you're sitting on the couch and you don't want to get your lazy ass up to do it from the device itself. Super neato, so I thought I would just show you folks how this works. So this is my Walmart on 4K streaming box, one of my first generation devices, the Pinder. Um, it's similar with any Lineage OS device, but especially a set-top box, you're more likely to use the updater. With phones and such, a lot of times I'm playing around with ADB, but just so you get an idea what the process is like. And I'll try to remember to put timestamps in the description so you can just fast forward through all of this crap. This is actually just my lazy way of kind of timing the procedure too while I'm installing it. I'm trying to do better, and I know my videos are random and boring as fuck, but I am trying harder to just record more of the random shit that I'm doing in case anybody is curious about this stuff, they can just flip through a video really quick. Some people are like me and like this boring shit. And Lineage OS is especially nice for devices that are like, mm, I would say from two to five years old. If you have a device that's still functional, but maybe it's not getting OS updates anymore, like Motorola. <coughs> um, and I've had quite a few older Samsung tablets that have aged out of updates. You can put Lineage OS on them and then give them to a relative. But then having the update procedure is nice because they can do that themselves. You're not having to manually take the device back and apply an update for them. And it doesn't take <clears throat> too many devices that you've given out to people to become a constant stream of people asking for your help. Uh, so if this takes some of your support overhead away, um, no good deed goes unpunished. You try and help people out and then you're on the hook for all kinds of support issues, which is fine for friends and family, but anything that an, an OS can do to make this easier for people to self-help is appreciated. And of course, with Android-based operating systems, if you if they're using <clears throat> like Chrome or Firefox or some other browser that gets updated regularly, at least they can have some security patches through their browser, which is nice. And uh, 
I forget the exact term, but I know they're decoupling the Chrome browser from the Chrome OS so that people with older Chromebooks can have a similar advantage where even if the OS isn't getting up, updated anymore, their browser can. So this kind of stuff is neato, to me at least. And apologies for the glare on the screen. I'm doing this during the day. Trying to do more of this stuff when I'm on my breaks. When I'm working from home. I'm hoping that Lineage OS supports the Walmart on streaming stick. I've seen that those are like 15 bucks. It would be really interesting to test one of those. I, I personally would spend the five bucks and just get the puck, the 4K box. I'm calling it a puck because obvious reasons. But, um, you know, if you're doing gifts for people in mass, that could add up if you're buying five or six of them at a time. So if that does everything you want and you can put a decent OS on it, maybe have some future proofing, that would be kind of interesting too. All right, so there you go, let's check. Okay, that's interesting. Little lag on the UI here. Of course, this is the initial boot, so. Huh. Okay, I guess it was just loading everything up. Well, there you go, March 27th. So, there you go. That is how you update a Lineage OS device. So you don't even have to get your lazy ass off the couch. How cool is that?